I was a big fan of the series of movies called Naked Gun back in the day, starring Leslie Nielsen and also O.J. Simpson. Funny enough, um, he was great in the movie. But anyway, but uh, it was a it was a comedy movie, and I read an article recently because I think it's I think it's like the thirty or fortieth year of the movie coming out, and so they were interviewing the directors. But one of the directors said that they wanted to get Priscilla Presley to be the love interest after after a show that they saw her on. I think she was on like uh, Dallas or some show like that. Uh, where she was playing like a really serious character, right? And so in the article, they were saying that they reached out to her and her first response back was like, but why would you want me for this comedy? I don't do comedy. And the director said, exactly. We don't want you to be a comedian. We want you to play the part straight and play it very seriously, but you're just ha- you just happen to be taking seriously all this silly stuff that's happening, right? And so I read that, And I've heard that note before from a lot of like some of the the best comedies that are out there are the ones where the comedian or the person that's playing the comic part isn't actually trying to be funny. In fact, the the comedies that I actually hate the most, like I used to watch like uh, some of Martin Lawrence's like movie comedies and stuff like that, where they would just be trying so hard on screen, like, hey, I'm doing this action. Look at how funny I am. And it was just ultimately it would make it not funny because they're trying so hard at it. But naked gun movies across the board, like the main dude in the things is playing serious, OJ's playing serious, Priscilla Presley's playing serious, and they're all funny as a result of taking all these silly situations very seriously. So I was, as I was reading that, I was like, how does that then compare to dating? Because I always compare everything to dating, right? And I realized that dating is very much a similar tactic in that I find that the times that I was the least successful with dating, was when I was trying my hardest to be a good dater. I was trying to, you know, show that I was boyfriend material. I was trying to bring flowers. I was trying to compliment. I was trying to do and do and do all these things to try to show women that I am worthy of eventually being the boyfriend. And I found that applied pressure. It made things uncomfortable. It made me anxious, which made them nervous. And it would usually result in them heading for the hills. So what changed? Well, part of it was honestly, figuring out the the pathway of dating that was going to be most effective, which is why I have the Introvert Dating Success Academy. Click the link to check that out. But yeah, once I actually found like a, a, a successful blueprint for dating, I found that I didn't have to worry so much about if I was making the right move or not, and I could actually focus on other things. And I found, funny enough, that focusing on other things actually made women more attractive to me. So for example, I'm at a party, right? I see a woman that I want to talk to. I don't talk to her. Instead, I focus on, you know, mingling with my friends. I focus on getting some good dancing in on the dance floor. I focus on various games that are being played at these parties. And then if I just so happen to go by the punch bowl at the time that I happen to know she's there and I just happen to strike up a conversation. Well, now I've done I've done made her interested in me without having to talk to her for an hour because for the last hour, she saw me doing other things. So by not concentrating on her, it made her concentrate on me and thereby she wants to talk to me. She wants to sit in my lap. She wants to give me her number before I leave the party without me having to ask for it. And I just found across the board that the less I tried, the easier it became to date. Now you might be thinking, but if I don't try, how do I get girls to date me? And there's the rub is that part of the dating process for you to be successful is really becoming comfortable in your own skin, knowing who you are, knowing that you're okay with who you are and what you bring to the table. And then also honestly, like focusing on some other things, like focusing on how you dress, focusing on your mannerisms, focusing on how you talk, how you move, focusing on your goals and what you're going after, and then focusing on other things that are just make you a in- more interesting person. You know, If you're really digging into your goals and your hobbies and you're going on trips and doing these things, then if a woman happens to come across your pathway, all you got to do is like talk about those things and then make her laugh a couple of times and boom, she's interested. Like, you know, I've done trips to Australia. I've had songs that went national and global and got me really popular. I've I've worked with celebrities. So I have an interesting enough life to where if I just talk to a woman for like five or 10 minutes, I can just mention, oh, yeah, like that's how I went to Australia. Oh, yeah, like this one thing I did. Oh, when I put this one song up, this is net. And then just those things, she's like, getting interested. And then I can say at the end of that, well, it's been nice talking to you. I got to go. Oh, real quick. Let me get your number. At that point, the most work I've done is put my phone out and said, let me get your number versus, oh, versus I see most guys do it like parties and stuff, right? Where it's like, oh, you're so hot. And then they follow her around the whole party and they're trying to compliment their whole time and trying to get her drinks and stuff like this is that. And I was doing none of that and getting women interested. So 
much like in comedy, when they're, they're, they're most funny, when they're not trying so hard at it, you're going to look more at ease and probably have a lot more success if you're not trying to look like you're trying to attract these women. Now, again, if you need help with that, I got some great programs at the website. You can also hit me up for coaching at the website. Uh, but either way, whether you do it through me or whether you look at a bunch of YouTube videos and figure it out, it really does behoove you to become more comfortable and more confident in yourself. It'll make you a better dater and it'll make you be able to relax around women to where you'll just be your nice, easy, casual self. And just being that way will get you all the women's, you know? So hopefully that little tidbit helps you out. <laughs>